Okay, so in the last video, I obviously explained what happened, but this time I'm gonna try and explain why. Obviously my symptoms were very, very similar to anaphylaxis. Um, I convinced myself that it was anaphylaxis. Um, I told the doctors that it was that, so they just accepted that as the reason and with no further investigation. But there was so much that just didn't make sense to me. Number one, I regularly eat sushi. Eat raw fish all the time. A couple years ago, I went to Tenerife and I was having a tuna steak every single day. I've eaten cans of tuna. Obviously in my head when I was at the hospital, I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I guess now I have a tuna allergy, but it just didn't make sense. But at the same time, I obviously wasn't thinking it was poison because I didn't feel sick and it happened immediately afterwards. It didn't happen, you know, a couple days or like a couple hours afterwards. It was very instant. Remember Seb also tried a bite of the tuna and he thought it tasted quite sour. And obviously because he only had a bite, it obviously was nowhere near severe, but he was a little bit ill that night. I wasn't thinking about this when I was in hospital, obviously, but when I was discharged, I kind of started researching it a little bit. And this is what I think it actually was. The deadly toxin that might be hiding in your tuna sandwich. Scomboid poisoning. Fish that tastes peppery, sharp or salty. And there it is, scomboid poisoning. Scomboid poisoning mimics an allergic reaction. And this is because the poison is caused by the amount of histamine in the fish if it isn't preserved right. It's quite little known, which is why the doctors probably didn't think to investigate any further, but it can very much be deadly. This makes so much more sense to me because as well, even Seb, he's nowhere near allergic to tuna. He eats it all the time, more than me. Um, and he still felt ill after that and had some of the symptoms, but a lot milder. And I've never known to have a food allergy about anything, let alone fish, because I am a big fish eater. Obviously a disclaimer, they did discharge me as anaphylaxis because they didn't investigate further and also um, I'm not a medical profession. So this is just me and my hypothesis, but I personally, I'm convinced. If you read that Daily Mail article, the symptoms that I described in part one were to a T in the exact same timeline as well as what this lady was describing. I just had a very serious version of it because sometimes it can be solved with just some antihistamines. Obviously mine was not. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think it was anaphylaxis or do you think it was the scomboroid poisoning?